ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا This is another lesson that we're having with our sisters in the city of Sydney, Australia. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to allow us to be from amongst those who implement that which we learn. The last time we had the lesson, we were still reading from the introduction of Shaykh Muqtur Rahim Allah Ta'ala to his daughter's book, which is Masihat Kilin Nisa. And as we mentioned, uh, in the first lesson, that we take excerpts from that which is mentioned in the book. From that which Shaykh Mubur Rahim Allah Ta'ala mentioned in the introduction, that he said, Fubad Ittiba'i Alim المعد بالتبع الثاني حتى I reviewed or read that which was prepared for the second trend or for the second printing of this book because the first printing uh, had run out so Umar Abdullah Habib Allah Ta'ala she prepared a new print and she had some things for it he said well get to her قد استمرت على فرائد فشد إليها في الحال he said I found that the second print Comprise uh, benefits that are worth people traveling for, meaning they're, they're, they're very uh, precious, precious benefits which are present in the book. Min tashihin wa tadaifin wa tawtiqin wa tajrihin wa nasaih tayyima. So, from with regards to narrations that she mentioned, which are authentic, and that which she mentioned. From narrations which are weak, that she informed that they are weak, but so did her uh, clarifying certain issues with the Jiriya and her informing of certain uh, possibly individuals who are deviants or individuals who are born astray or even culture, uh, issues related to culture which are not in accordance with uh, the religion, etc. And tremendous advice. So he informed Rahim Allah that she had some tremendous advice that we're going to mention uh, today. Inshallah, we're going to mention how she mentions that advice in this book. Regardless, the people were competing in uh, getting a hold of the first prince. What in the Arju and Yakuna? And I hope that the people's competing and their desire to gain a copy of this print, I hope it is even greater. As for the author of this advice, then the author of this book, he referred to his daughter, فَإِنَّهُمْ أُمَّ الدَّلَّ الْوَادِعِيَّةِ Her name, Umar Dalla الْوَادِعِيَّةِ مُسْتَفِيدَةٌ فِي عُلُومٍ شَثَّةٍ She has benefited from various uh, Islamic knowledge, Islamic knowledge, obviously. Uh, with the she has taken upon the character of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. فاضلة فاضلة حريصة على وقتها غاية الحس. She is someone who is noble, and she is very diligent in taking advantage of her time. من أجل من أجل هذا بارك الله في عملها. And because of this. Because of these characteristics uh, which are present in her, Allah has blessed her in her deeds. She's very diligent in benefiting uh, her sisters. She teaches a book until she finishes it. And this is something which is very 
praiseworthy uh, in a teacher is that a teacher uh, does not begin a book and goes through a few chapters and then leaves the book and then takes time off and then begins another book and you know the, the way of our ulama the way of our ulama from the month in Shaykh Mubarak Rahim Allah Ta'ala and Shaykh Al-Ba'ad before Shaykh Mubarak Shaykh Al-Ba'ad Shaykh Al-Dami Shaykh Al-Bani Shaykh Mubarak Presently, Shaykh Al-Qubir Habib Allah Ta'ala Shaykh Al-Qubir Habib Allah Shaykh Al-Qubir Habib Allah Ta'ala Shaykh Al-Qubir they began, and that is the way of the Alamah, they began a book and they, and they finished the book. And I remember uh, Shaykh Ali uh, bin Yahya al-Haddadi, uh, Habib Allah Ta'ala, one of our scholars here in Riyadh, he said that Allah has indeed blessed Shaykh Salat for Islam. That this man begins a book, and the students think that it's going to take years before we finish the book, and before you know it, the book is finished. And he, he's gone page after page until the book is finished. And we've seen this with our own eyes. We've seen this with our own eyes that we begin a book and a few months the book is finished a lot. Every day, every week after one, every week he explains a few, few pages and until we finish the book and Allah has given him barakah in that. And the likes, Shaykh Abdul Musan al Abbad, Habib Allah Ta'ala, Shaykh Abdul Musan al Abbad, when we joined, first joined the University of Medina in 1996, and they were teaching Sunan al-Masahi, and he finished Sunan al-Masahi, and then he taught uh, Sunan Abi Dawood, and he finished Sunan Abi Dawood, and he taught uh, Sunan Ibn Umajan, and he finished Sunan Ibn Umajan, and then he taught Yama al-Firmidi, and he finished it, and then he started all over again from Ba'al Bukhari, and now he's a Sahih Muslim. So this is the barakat that Allah has which gives the ulama with their time and with their knowledge and with their family because obviously it's, it's uh, not easy for the family to be patient. And this is the same that Sheikh Muqtur Rahim Allah had mentioned about in Dora. To go to the kitab hatta tantahimi wa thumma tantahim ila kitab and after that she teaches a book to her sisters meaning the females who are present Around her, she teaches a book and until she finishes it, and then she goes to another book. Uh, she does that when she says, Muhabbatan was good with Aqeeda and Fiqh and Lugha. She loves books and Aqeeda and Fiqh and Lugha. Well, I have in Al-Qutub, and then he mentioned some of the books that she has authored. The Sihat in Min Nisa. One of the books that she has authored is my advice to the female. Or Sahih al Muslim and Shama'il al Muhammadiyya and the authentic Muslim, the authentic compilation of the characteristics of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that's also printed. And she has a book, Al-Jama Sahih Al-Ilm wa Fadlihi, the authentic compilation of the merit of knowledge. And this I haven't come across yet. This I haven't come across, and even when I traveled to Yemen, uh, and then when I traveled to Egypt as well, I, I asked or inquired about this book, and they mentioned that they had never seen this book, meaning it's possible that she wrote a book, but she never uh, sent it to print it. But, and that was at the time of, uh, while her father was still alive, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, but we know, like we mentioned in the, uh, one of the lessons previously, that she also has the book, Sifat uh, al-Mar'a Saliha, which is a, a new book that she wrote recently, and it's over uh, 300 pages, and it's the characteristics of the righteous woman. You know, so it shows how she's benefiting herself, and she's also uh, being diligent in benefiting her sisters. Um, then Sheikh Mutbur Rahim Allah Ta'ala mentioned uh, toward the end وَهُمْ أَبْدَلَّ بِحَمْدِ اللَّهِ تُبْغِذُ لِحِزْبِيِّ وَتُمَثْرِ عَنْهَا that she hates his beer and she warns of it فَجَزَاهُ اللَّهُ فَجَزَاهُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا in going into the introduction of the, the author, she begins by uh, the name of Allah, praising Allah, sending salams upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She mentions that this is the second or a new print, and she mentions that. Uh, She's printed this and she hopes that Allah Azza wa Jal allows 
is to be of benefit. And then she says, O Wajjah, إليك هذه الرسالة الصغيرة في حجمها الكبيرة بما تحمله من إرشاد من إرشاد ومص. She says, I give to you this this treaties which is small in size, but it is tremendous in that which is present in it of guidance and advice. لا سيما ونصه من سنن المرسلين. Especially because giving advice and being sincere, it is from the way of the Prophet and and the messenger. And before we continue, notice that which she's informing of the issue of advice, and that's the that's what we should all be upon. We should all be upon advice and sincerity toward toward the believers as the, as Allah has just mentioned. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَلُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَلُوا بِالصَّبْرِ Except those, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in Surah Al-Asr about the destruction uh, of mankind, and then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala makes makes this disna, makes an exception, and there is certain characteristics of the people that would be excluded from that destruction, and from those characteristics is belief and righteous deeds and joining together upon patience and joining together upon the truth. So this is something which should always be at the forefront of, of the believer that we have to be individuals that join together upon patience or join together, join together upon truth. And from that is that we are sincere toward one another and that we advise one another. And she mentioned that this is the, from the ways of the prophets and the messengers. And she mentions the adilla. قَالَ نُوحُ عَلَيْهِ سَلَاتُ وَسَلَامُ لِقَوْمِهِ أُبَلِّبُكُمْ رِسَالَةِ رَبِّي وَأَنْتَهُ لَكُمْ وَأَعْلَمُ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ In Surah Al-A'raf And in, surah, in the same Surah Allah mentions uh, the statement of many of the Prophets In the same Surah Allah as the mentions the statement of many of the Prophets She's going to mention those, those statements So Nuh alayhi salatu salam Who was the first Prophet sent to his people As we know uh, hadith of Ibn Abbas that the people were upon heat from the time of Adam والسلام, and then the shaitan came to the people and uh, he encouraged them to worship the statues and the pictures which were placed uh, by their parents out of reverence and love for righteous individuals but once the parents passed away Shaheen uh, influenced the people and said, Bury the parents used to worship these statues and these pictures. So the people began to commit shirk. And when that took place, Allah Azzawajal sent Nuh to his people to warn them. So Nuh being from the prophets and the messengers, one of the statements that he mentioned to his people, as Allah Azzawajal mentioned in Surah Al Araf, I am. Conveying to you the message of your of my Lord, and I am sincere for you. I am advising you, and I know from Allah Azza wa Jal. I know from Allah, meaning this knowledge is revelation. It is not from Nuh alayhi himself. I know from Allah that which you do not know. And likewise, Prophet Hud alayhi said a similar statement: "Ubalibukum rasalati Rabbi wa ana lakum nasihun amin." Hud alayhi salatu salam said to his people, I am conveying to you the message of my Lord and I am trustworthy and sincere. And Salih alayhi salatu salam likewise said to his people, لَقَدْ أَبْلَغْتُكُمْ بِسَالَةِ رَبِّي وَنَفَحْتُ لَكُمْ Further in the surah, the same surah, Salih alayhi salatu salam said to his people, I have conveyed to you the message of my Lord and I have advised. And likewise, Shu'ayb alayhi salatu salam, لَقَدْ أَبْلَقْتُكُمْ رِسَانَةِ رَبِّي وَنَفَحْتُ لَكُمْ فَكَيْفَ آسَى عَنَا فَوْمٍ كَافِرِينَ Later in the surah, Allah Azza wa Jal mentions the statement of Shu'ayb alayhi salatu salam. He said, I have conveyed to you the message of my Lord, and I have advised you, so how can I be uh, sad upon a people who have disbelieved? So she has mentioned in other verses in the Quran, she has mentioned four of the verses informing about uh, the issue of advice. And we should also mention that when it comes to the affair of being sincere and advising, not everyone that claims to be sincere, although we understand and it is from Iman that the prophets and the messengers, that we believe that the prophets and the messengers 
were sincere in that advice and their teaching and guidance. But that doesn't mean that everyone that approaches you with a statement uh, and a claim to be sincere, that this individual is, is sincere. Because when the shaitan came to Adam alayhi salatu salam, he came with the same call, meaning he said that he was sincere. He said that he was sincere. When he came to Adam and Hawa, he said that he was sincere. And rarely we know that he was not sincere. And likewise, when the Ikhwa of Yusuf alayhi salatu salam, when the Ikhwa of Yusuf alayhi salatu salam came to Ya'qub, as we have in Surah Yusuf, when the Ikhwa of Yusuf came to Ya'qub, and they had devised a plan to get rid of their brother Yusuf alayhi salatu salam, and they requested from their father Ya'qub to allow them to take Yusuf out for some play and the like, they also said, we are sincere. They also said, we are sincere. So it is upon the people to look at those who approach them who claim to be sincere, especially during the latter days, especially during the latter days when you have individuals who claim to be upon the haq and claim to be to want khayr, but these individuals, just like the shayateen and just like the ikhwa of Yusuf, they come with a statement with their tongue, but they do not intend that with their, they do not intend that with their hearts. So we have to be very careful when individuals approach us and say that they uh, want good for us and the likes. We have to look at their statements. We have to look at their history. We have to look at, are they called us to good? Are they called us to rectification? Uh, are they called us to unity upon the haq? And, and the likes. And she says, and sincerity and advice is the support of the religion. And Abi Ruqayya Samim, Samim Al-Dari, she mentions in Sahih Muslim, and it has the Isnad in Sahih Muslim, and in Sahih Bukhari has the same hadith, but it, it's without an Isnad, or it's without a complete Isnad. And Abi Ruqayya Samim Al-Dari, رضي الله عنه he said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said الدين النسيح very the religion is advice and sincerity the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم they were the most eager to know specifics when it came to implementing the, their religion they said يا رسول الله لمن قلنا يا رسول الله قلنا لمن يا رسول الله the companions said to whom is this sincerity and advice Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم responded by saying لله ولكتابه ولرسوله Sincerity to Allah and to His Book and to His Messenger and to the leaders from amongst Muslims and the general laymen from amongst them. So this informed you that the Prophet said, and he said this three times, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to inform you of the importance of sincerity and advice in the religion. And from the best explanation, of that hadith, that hadith of uh, Abi Rufayya Samin Al-Dari, because we know it is from the Arba'in al Nawawiyah, we know that it is from the Ahadith of Imam al Nawawi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that he compiled in his 40 hadith. Um, from the best explanations that I've come across is the explanation of Ibn Rajab al Hamdali, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, in Jam al Ulum al Hikam. In his Jam al Ulum al Hikam, uh, it is translated, but it is translated in Egypt, which is not the best of prints. But you can also find this, the explanation of this hadith and the explanation of the 40 hadith of uh, Sheikh Salah al-Fazan, Hadith of Allah the wonderful explanation. And likewise, in the explanation of Sheikh Qutaymin, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, which is, and the explanation of Sheikh Salah al-Fazan is present in, in English. The explanation of Sheikh Qutaymin, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, the complete explanation is not available in English. You have the ta'lifat by a brother, may Allah guide him, uh, uh, he did ta'liqat, he did the comments of Sheikh Uthaymin on the 40 hadith, but it is not the complete explanation of Sheikh Uthaymin on the book of Arbain al Nawawiyah. And then she mentions the hadith of Jarir bin Abdullah and Bajiri, the, the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa He said that we gave oath to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa to establish the prayer, to give the zakat, and to be sincere for every Muslim. And this is reported in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. So this was something that the Prophet ﷺ took oath from his companions that they would be sincere. 
And this is something which is rare today, that you have the believer being sincere for, for the believer. Unfortunately, you have individuals that in the communities which are jealous for one another, which hate one another, which want discord and the like. So very little is upon the people who take it back to the way of the Prophet Sallallahu companion, and that is that we have to be sincere and uh, advise one another. We have to be sincere and advise one another at times. And the advice is according to the situation. At times the advice would be uh, gentle, and that is the origin, and at times the advice would be somewhat harsh. But the individual who is being advised should understand that it is not that we want to uh, uh, blemish your image or, or dishonor your, your character and life of that, but we want you to return to the haq. Or we want you to return, or this should be the intent, that the individual returns to the haq. So this should be uh, the focal point of the individual who is advising, is that he wants the listener to return to the haq. He doesn't want to degrade him or debase him or the likes or insult him or humiliate him, but rather he wants the individual to turn to the haq. And the individual who is being advised should also keep that in mind, regardless of how the advice is being being given to him. He should keep in mind that the purpose is to return to the haq. They should mention the statement of Abdullah bin Muwar, one of the salaf, rahimahullah ta'ala, when he asked him, what action is better? He said, he was asked about what action is better, called al nusrulillah He said, to be sincere for Allah. To be sincere for Allah. She took that narration from the same book that we mentioned, Jamal al al Hikam, which is a book by the explanation of 40 hadiths by Imam, the explanation of the 40 hadiths by al Hafiz ibn Rajab, rahimahullah ta'ala. Then she said, فَلِذَلِكَ أَحْبَرْتُ أَنْ تُقَدْمِنْ هَذِهِ النَّصَائِحِ بِأَخْرَوَاتِ اللَّهِ So I wanted to give this advice, these advices for my sisters uh, in the way of Allah and my sisters in Islam. So this is that which she has done. And uh, as we mentioned, our lesson would be, uh, inshallah ta'ala, uh, restricted to 20 to 25 minutes. And now we have reached uh, over 20 minutes, so we will stop now. And the hidden in Lahi Ta'ala, next week we will continue with the first chapter that she mentioned. And like we said, we will take our time, the hidden in Lahi Ta'ala, trying to benefit the most from, from the book. Allah knows best.